And so this video begins on this Valentine's Day Eve, February 13th, 2024 at Universal Orlando Resort. Universal Studios, Florida. My all-time favorite theme park, the very first Universal Studios theme park there ever was. We are here today because I am a huge fan of Universal Studios Florida, a pass holder, but also I'm a huge fan of Ghostbusters. I've got some news for you ghost heads out there. Some big news. Rumors are flying and it is what brought me all the way out here to Orlando after a full day of regular work to talk about the rumors that are flying. I've got some exciting news that I think will come true for you Ghostbuster fans out there and for you Universal Studios Florida fans. A lot of breaking news lately. I've got two big announcements and I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for clicking on this video. We begin now. There's much ahead. I want to show you I finally found my original Universal Studios Florida annual pass. This was gifted to me by my parents on Christmas Day 2004. So I, this was my first ever annual pass here to Universal Studios. Check out young, very young Tampa J there in that photo. I was a high schooler. I think I was 17 years old, maybe 18 when this was taken. This was definitely in 2005. Had to show this, had to bring this back. This is the first time this pass has been here in all of those years. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, Universal Studios Florida, my all time favorite theme park. Been coming here for a long time. And as you can see, I've been a pass holder here for a long time, on and off. But 2005 was the first time I became an annual pass holder. First visit, 1993. And with me today, pertaining to the subject matter, I grabbed these photos very quickly from my family photo album as I was clocking out of work, getting into my car, coming over here knowing I was going to talk about an exciting, an exciting, some exciting news. Again, another rumor flying, a couple rumors about the Ghostbusters returning to Universal Studios Florida. We will get in there and we will get into it, I assure you, but I wanna set the things up properly. I have been a huge fan of the Ghostbusters since I was a kid. My all-time favorite cartoon, my favorite movie. Last month, I was out in Los Angeles. I got to see the Los Angeles Ghostbusters filming locations, specifically the interior of the Ghostbusters firehouse. I drove over to Sony Pictures where they're making the new Ghostbusters films. And years ago, not too long ago, I was in New York showing all of those locations. I live and breathe the Ghostbusters. And that is why I got in my car and drove all the way here after my nine to five job to talk to you guys about this news. Now, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, I hope you enjoy this video. If you're a Universal Studios Florida fan and you're clicking on this to figure out what's going on, what's coming, I feel in my heart that this rumor that I will talk about with you guys today will come true. Now in 2019, I came out here, did a similar video and announced to the world a rumor that was talked about, the Ghostbusters haunted house that came to HHN in 2019. I came out here months before and I made a similar video and I talked about the rumor and it came true. Now I feel in my heart, I have the same feeling I did back then. So as I'm talking about this today, just know in the back of your mind, I do believe that this rumor is a given. There is stuff out there floating. We believe that the Ghostbusters are coming back to Universal Studios Florida and more. Okay, I had to set that up. Thanks for watching guys. We're heading inside. There's much ahead. And before we get inside, just wanna point out to you this advertisement for Paris 2024, the Summer Olympics. And also in the background, we may see a little bit of the Mardi Gras celebration. The last time I was here was on New Year's Day with my fiance, Chris the Girl, on YouTube. And we rode ET, who remembers that vlog? That was the last time I was here. I've actually been to Universal Studios Hollywood and back since I've been here. And guess what I did? I actually walked in the park, scanned in my pass, and realized I dropped my photos. Thankfully, 
They were where I dropped them. Whoops. That would have been a sad moment. And by the looks of the yellow cab, we are inside Universal Studios Florida with the photos this time. So, if it's Ghostbusters, it's New York City. Straight ahead. Just like that, welcome to New York City, folks. Got the New York Public Library at the end. That is a Ghostbusters filming location. The opening scene, we've got the Guggenheim. And down here is the Ghostbusters Firehouse, the former entrance to Ghostbusters Spooktacular Show. And this whole building, right inside there, a giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man animatronic to put the icing on the cake or on the Ghostbusters to the former Ghostbusters Spooktacular Show. Who remembers that show? Before this was Jimmy Fallon, Race Through New York, it was Twister the ride, and before that, it was Ghostbusters. And welcome back to the Ghostbusters Firehouse here at Universal Studios Florida. That was the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Whoa! All right, here we are before the former entrance to the Ghostbusters Spooktacular. I remember it. I remember walking inside this door right here to go see the show, and also, thanks to my mom for taking this photo back in 93, Right there in the center, myself, my dad, and my little brother. Right here, all those years ago. And look to the right, there are the doors to the Ghostbusters Spooktacular show. And everything else behind matches up today. We were standing like right here. You can see the Metropolis Tribune behind us. Check this out. Put it in the lower right hand corner. A little then and now action for you. There's little Tampa J. My dad, whose name is also Jay, and my little brother Jacob, Jurassic Park Jeeps, and some 90s looking uh, college kids to the left there too. This is very nostalgic to start off with, but it really sets up the vibe and the sentiment to being a huge Ghostbusters Universal Studios fan. Here it comes again. Woo! That's a fun one. Back around. I like that ride. Also with me, I have this photo that my dad took, my mom, my brother and I. This is the queue, or perhaps the pre-show to the Ghostbusters Spectacular show. This was inside this building, currently Jimmy Fallon. You can see the containment unit right there to the right. If the light is green, the trap is clean. And also in this photo, my first time in front of the New York Public Library here at Universal Studios Florida. My mom, my brother, and myself again. Dad took this photo. Notice it was the holidays, it was Christmas time. Right there, there was a Christmas tree there once. There you go. Little then and now action for you. I came over by the New York Public Library because it's much quieter over here. I'm also recreating the establishing shot, the exterior shot of the Ghostbusters of the public library in Ghostbusters. Just like this. I've done this before at the real Fifth Street at the real library in New York City. When I see these lions, I think of Ghostbusters. Both of them, of course. Above and beyond paranormal travel agent Thomas Mocked. Now, there is still some evidence that the Ghostbusters were once here and perhaps they will return. Now the latest rumor has spawned, it is out there. And thanks to Chris the Girl for sending me a very special article on the interweb. That is what, whoa, that is what sparked this whole thing. I'm gonna go talk about that with you right now. It's a little quieter up here on the steps of the New York Public Library by the Ghostbusters Lions. The Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket will come back and forth as I'm explaining this rumor, the announcement, I will pause as the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket rips through the Ghostbusters firehouse. Here it comes. That one was loud. They're not screaming. I don't think there was many people on that one. The park is closing. Okay, let me get to it. You're probably like, come on, get to it, Tampa J. For you Ghostbusters fans out there, Universal Studios has recently been rumored to purchase to purchase the rights to Ghostbusters once again. Now, in my opinion, they never should have given it up. We know that Ghostbusters, the movies, are owned by Pause for the Rocket. Have always 
been owned by Columbia Pictures, AKA Sony Pictures. I was just out at Sony Pictures and did the tour and saw the Ghostbusters stuff out there. We know they have always licensed the Ghostbusters and have given Universal Studios that license twice before. We're talking for the Ghostbusters Spooktacular show back in 1990. And then we're talking about recently, 2019, for the haunted house, the Ghostbusters haunted house. They did for that. Recently rumored that they have purchased it, asked for it once again from Columbia Sony Pictures because they want to bring Ghostbusters back to Universal Studios Florida. I guarantee you they're coming back. How they will come back is the greater question. The biggest thing, I think the most convincing evidence we have is that Universal has said somewhere off the record. Here it comes. Pause for the rocket. Has said. Here's the first big announcement. We are about to receive this summer a vintage attractions opening day Universal Studios Florida opening attractions themed parade. A parade. Just like the Mardi Gras parade. Like it's gonna happen right there. Just like that one. We're talking about Back to the Future. We're talking about Jaws, E.T. Also, they're gonna add Jurassic Park, not an opening day attraction. We're talking about maybe Earthquake, but we're definitely talking about the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters will be a part of this parade. That being said, there is also another rumor that the Ecto-1, the Ghostbusters car, will return and be a part of that parade and a part of Universal once again. Up until like the 2010s, maybe late 2000s, the car and the Ghostbusters would come out here in the car, proton packs, and you could take photos with them. I've got many photos with them. The ride, Spooktacular Show, closed up in 96, and then it became Twisters. And then back in like 2016, they opened Jimmy Fallon, just to give a brief history. The Ghostbusters haven't been here for a long time. The Spooktacular Show is also rumored to come back, but that is the far fetch of a rumor. I don't know if that's gonna happen. There is some sort of a fountain show coming back. The Ghostbusters might be a part of that show over there in the Central Park area. That is what I have gathered today and the news that was broken to me by a article, a website that was published online and shared to me by my fiance, Chris the Girl, who is also a huge Ghostbusters fan. That article, that newspaper, not newspaper, wow, showing my age here. That website was shared to me today and I'll put a link to that website below. Actually, I'll give him a proper shout out. I can't think of it right now. OrlandoParkStop.com are the ones who are breaking. I gotta give credit where credit is due. OrlandoParkStop.com are the ones who are technically breaking this news. I'm just putting it in a video, sharing it with all of my audience out there, all you guys. I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbusters. A lot of people who have subscribed to this channel are as well. And I am so glad to spread out there into the universe to in a way convince the universe that the Ghostbusters will, this rumor is true that they will return. Wow, been talking a while. I am a huge fan of the Ghostbusters since I was a kid. I remember opening my toys on Christmas day, watching the real Ghostbusters cartoon, watching the movies for the first time with my dad. I have lived and rode the Ghostbusters here at Universal Studios a lot. Again, back 2019 I created that video of the rumor that did come true of the Ghostbusters returning as far as the haunted house that was a big deal and that house was awesome by the way I still go back and watch footage online of the walkthrough of that haunted house being a huge fan of that movie loving haunted houses it's hard to compete with that memory in that one of course and it's gonna be hard to compete with the Ghostbusters coming back to Universal Studios for me epic universe on the rise, Ghostbusters, I don't think we'll see them over there, but I definitely think we'll see them here. Universal has to compete with their own brand new beast of a theme park. And so they're freshening up uh, this park, coming up with new ideas. And for the last several years, and 
for the last several years, thanks to Universal, they have brought back the nostalgia of the opening day attractions, the vintage rides like Back to the Future, we're talking about Jaws, E.T., still here. They have been bringing that back to the parks as far as merch, as far as their tribute stores, as far as special events. They now have a Back to the Future escape game out at the um, City Walk, which we did a, uh, a year ago. They are always bringing it back because they know there are people out there like me that appreciate the memories, the history, and the movies. There's not a lot of theme parks that do that. Also, there's not a lot of theme parks that keep the opening day attractions. That is, uh, that is a very rare thing nowadays. That's another subject matter. We'll save that for another time. But yes, my friends, I believe, Tampa J here, Universal Studios Florida longtime goer, pass holder, I believe the Ghostbusters will be seen here on midnight on New Year's Eve. No way, no. That was a Ghostbusters 2 reference. I just had to throw that in there. I believe the Ghostbusters will come out here in 2024 sometime in the summer. According to what I read online and what I explained, the Ghostbusters will be back and hopefully busting some ghosts. Who knows what this will open up? Maybe we will see some of the new stuff, but I doubt it. I think Sony wants to keep that to themselves. I do think we'll see a lot of vintage characters. We'll get E-Gun, of course. We'll get Ray Stance, Winston Stedamore, and of course, we'll get Venkman. I love me some Venkman. That's one of my favorites. Him and Ray were always my favorite. And E-Gun, also Winston. How can you pick a favorite? We got Slimer, maybe Janine, maybe Lewis. Lewis will come back. Lewis Tolley, who knows? But definitely, I think we'll see the Ghostbusters walking around right out here behind me come the summer. I really feel it in my heart. Wow, I've been talking a lot. I had a lot to say. This is a big deal. I love this town. I love this theme park. Ghostbusters, much ahead. Whoa, okay. So that being said, I'm just gonna kinda walk out this way. The parade's gonna start up soon. I'm gonna walk back over to the lagoon area because it is rumored that there might be a show there that has to do with Ghostbusters, a fountain show. Like they've done in years past, they will kind of do the same thing. Oh my gosh. I did it again. Man, I can't lose these. These are precious memories. Take it right over there. And the reason I was rushing because the park closes at seven and I knew Mardi Gras was about to start up. So I apologize for the audio. I hope you appreciate the announcement though. Again, specifically you Ghostbusters fans. Here comes the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Let's get it one more time. Here we go. Woo! And the parade is making its way into New York. Check it out. We got the police motorcycle bikes. City of Orlando Police Department. Ghostbusters Firehouse in the background. Oh, this is cool. I could just watch the police officer. Here comes the rest of the parade. See ya. Watch out for Jimmy Fallon. Hello. I'll take one. I'll take one. Right here! Over here! Over here! Right here! Ah! No! Do it for the vlog! Oh! I'll take it! Thank you! Oh! I just got down! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! We got one! I'm gonna say Tuesday night's the best night to come for Mardi Gras. Not too bad. Very tall. These floats look great, don't they? All right, let's move away from the party. I'm sure I'll be back. Watch ahead. And the parade is very long. It's still going on over here at this portion. Just walk from back here. I want to come inside this establishment because they have some Ghostbusters merchandise inside. Yes, the Kitty Cat Club. No, wait, no, not that one. This one, the Film Vault. They have Ghostbusters merch. And look at that. It's almost like we planned it. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. Ghost Busters. I really like this Ecto here. Oh, and there's Phoebe. That's from the Ghostbusters Afterlife. Of course, we got Who You Gonna Call t-shirt. And we've got some Stay Puft, mini Stay Puft tumblers. 
Also, Ghostbuster socks. Do I need these? I don't have Ghostbuster socks. And in the back, this whole island here, all devoted to Ghostbusters. I like the baseball t-shirt. I've got several t-shirts at home as far as Ghostbusters. Miss opportunity, not wearing one tonight. There's some sort of a Ghostbusters uh, Stay Puft Blaster. That's neat. I haven't seen that before. There's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man himself. Looks like his face changed. Oh, okay. Look at that. He just popped in there. It can't be. It can't be. Notice I'm holding this so I don't lose this. I've lost it twice. Ghostbusters hoodie. Some more cups. And also all of the vintage attractions. Opening day attractions as far as merchandise. E.T. as well. I bought a few things in here for my mom and for Chris the girl over the years. Ooh, I like this Ghostbusters hat. I've never seen this before. It's like a Ghostbusters employee welcome kit. You get all these things. Even a rookie badge, a pen, a notebook, a card. 90 bucks for this. Also, a guide to New York City. Ecto-1 routes and accessibility. That's really cool. What's up, Chubbs? Jaws. So much Jaws merch in here. Tons of it. I really miss that ride. I know I say that every time, but come on, bite me. I like that hat, that's a cool hat. I like this Jaws Hawaiian shirt. This is cool. Look at the pattern here. It's more like a comic book strip. Now Jaws the Ride, still in existence in Japan, I believe. I believe that's in Japanese. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Pardon my ignorance. Okay, this might be coming home with me. That's Chris the girl would say. Oh, better yet. I think I like this better. I think she would as well. Amity Islands Shark Tours, the old shark boat. Even though this reminds me more of E.T. Okay, this is fun. I could go all night. Jay, just put it down. I know someone said that. Okay, I will. Signed autograph from Christopher Lloyd, who we just saw at MegaCon. Back to the Future. There's a picture of him signing the actual photo too. You can purchase this here for 500 bucks. Okay, that makes MegaCon seem like a mega deal now. Giant alligator! Okay, that float is awesome. Amazing. I caught that at the right moment. Just walked out of the store here. Whoa! That's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. That is like two school buses, lengthwise. A lot of folks up there throwing beads as well. Happy Mardi Gras, happy Ghostbusters everyone. Sorry it's so loud. Universal Studios is a very loud park to vlog in. No, no biggie, just what it is. And I went and picked up something. Something I may have shared, it is Valentine's Day tomorrow. Something for a special someone. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. Hope you have a great day. Just another day, right? Another day for love. I can't escape the parade, but that's okay. I'm enjoying it as I'm walking around to the other side of the park. Oh my gosh. This one reminds me of a proton pack. Don't cross the streams. It's on fire. I like the volcano. As I'm walking, I'm walking with the float. Throw me a beer! Right here, right here! Here we go! Got it, thank you! Got it! Okay, I take that back about Tuesday night at Universal Studios Mardi Gras. It has bumped up a notch. I about got trampled for some beads back there. It's definitely a Decepticon evening. Oh my glory. Don't mess with that guy. And the parade wraps all the way around. It goes back to where it started, past Mel's Drive-In, past the horror makeup show, and right back down the alley there. There's people everywhere. I wanted to come over here to the lagoon because it is also rumored, I read, that Universal is working on a brand new lagoon show. Now, will that encompass the Ghostbusters or any of the classic attractions? Not so sure, but there is a possibility. Okay, this is a little better. So right here in this spot is where everyone stands for the lagoon shows. Now, the lagoon shows here at Universal Studios, there's the lagoon, has always been a thing. Back in the day when I first came here, they had a Miami Vice 
themed stunt show out on the water. I've showed the Miami Vice boats, which are still here over in San Francisco. I've shown those many times, I've talked about that. Back in 2019, they had a lagoon show during Halloween Horror Nights, a projection show along with the fountains, and there was a giant projection of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man on that building right there behind me. Actually, that building and that building. That was so cool. So I'm thinking about that moment and the rumor. Maybe they'll bring back something like that, a lagoon show for the summertime as far as the classic original day opening attractions. So I'm showing you this here, that's why. And also you've seen the parade since I've walked over here. Again, back to the parade thing. I really think that's gonna be a thing, a really cool thing to see the original attractions as far as the parade, a lot like Mardi Gras. We're talking about perhaps the DeLorean. We're talking about the Ecto-1, who knows? Maybe E.T. himself and all the kids on the bikes. Um, yeah, maybe Beetlejuice. The Monsters uh, Graveyard Review Show, that could be a part of the parade as well. We, we do miss that one too. Cannot not mention Beetlejuice, almost forgot about that. The time machine, the DeLorean time machine. Gotta throw this in there. I don't think they would use this one. I don't even know if it runs, but there is a possibility, as I was saying, they could bring a DeLorean in here and use it in the parade. That would be super cool. Also, it'd be cool to see a replica of the Jules Verne, but I doubt that'll happen. Just throwing that in there in case it happens. You can see the flux capacitor way better at night. Check it out. There's a sports almanac. That's awesome. I always forgot, I forgot that the sports almanac was in there. And of course, the original Back to the Future, the ride, now the Simpsons ride. Just a shell of memories. Always gotta share this. If there is some sort of a lagoon show, it would be cool if they did bring back the Miami Vice stunt stuff, at least a portion of it, they do have the boats. Now, I know I'm only singing to the hearts of all those 80s kids out there. I'm talking to you dads, but I'm gonna go over there and show the boats. Welcome to San Francisco. Lombard Seafood Grill. These boats, specifically this one docked right here, the Donzi, as in Don Johnson, that's what I always say. This was used back during the Miami Vice stunt show this is part of the show it is still here all of these years this boat is still here could they use this again i hope they do that would be awesome if we got a little stunt show on the water once again here at universal studios florida i say do it and i also almost forgot to show the second boat this boat is an original universal studios florida boat as well that was part of that stunt show and it looks like it's in great shape both these boats do they look like they still run. Who knows? Maybe they do something with it, and I just missed out on it. But I never see them. Um, I never see them out on the water. Just parked right here at the marina, of course. Hello, Bruce. I have never had Bruce all to myself at night. This is amazing. The park is about to close in like two minutes. It's almost seven o'clock. Check this out. Okay, I can do this more often. Hey, we need to do this more often. Right, Bruce? Jaws. Chris the girl and I's favorite as far as sea creature feature. Hello. A couple years ago, he got refreshed as well. He's always looking good. Remember getting a photo with Bruce here my very first time at Universal Studios Florida. I've showed that many of times. He used to sit back there, of course, where the ride used to sit. All right, Bruce. Have a good night. Park's closing. Get a screenshot here real quick though. There we go, I wanna frame it. Frame it just right. Make sure I get the jaw sign. That lighting's pretty good. I forgot to tell you to take a screenshot, sorry. Did you get it? You just, you'll have to rewind it back. And if you wanna relive Earthquake, such a great attraction. If you wanna relive that, you can come inside a Richter burger. It's off the Richter scale, get it? They've got a lot of memorabilia inside on the walls. Well darn, it's all closed up. They closed a little early, but you can see kind of on the back walls back there, there's some cages and some artifacts. Oh, here's something right here that used to be a part of the attraction. This upside down statue was a part of Earthquake. Who remembers it? And right here, before the Fast and Furious supercharged this ride, this attraction, this fountain, this fence, is the only thing that remains of Beetlejuice's graveyard review. 
the Universal Monsters slash Beetlejuice show was one of my most absolute favorite things to watch. My dad loved this show and we had to watch it every time we came here to Universal Studios Florida. Sadly missed. I hope we see Beetlejuice in that parade. I think we will. We see him around the parks. Just saw him over in Hollywood not too long ago at that Universal Studios park. We always see him around here too. He's been hanging out, not in the cemetery lately, but over at the horror makeup show. So we still see him about every day here, but it would be cool to see maybe a piece of that graveyard review show come back, specifically the Universal Monsters and everything. They could tie that all in. They could do a lot of things. That's true, they could do a lot of things. I mean, there's no better statement than that. The possibilities are endless. But the rumor, the spark, the excitement that I have shared with you tonight that brought me all the way over here to talk about this was Ghostbusters. And it opens up an endless possibility, or endless possibilities as far as my favorite movies. Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, Jaws, Back to the Future. The list goes on. I'm just rambling now. Cool fountain, isn't it? I hope they never take this out. It literally sat right before the entrance of Graveyard Review. Family forever. Unless you're Beetlejuice. Don't say it three times. No, please say it three times. That being said, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna thank you all for watching, especially if you are new here. Please feel free to subscribe. I've got a whole catalog of videos. We are on the brink of 100,000 subscribers. Wow, I never thought I would ever say that. When I started this channel, I just, I just like to make videos. And that hasn't changed. I still like to make videos. I do it for fun. That's what surprises me when people watch. And as many as people, as you 93,000 and some, I think that's where we're at right now. Thank you, every, I don't wanna say that lightly. Thank you so much, all 93,500 and some of you. I, I thank you for watching this. Specifically, everyone, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, if you're a theme park fan, if you're a fan of the 80s, of anything, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. All right, gonna wrap this up, gotta drive home. I've gotta work my regular job tomorrow, so in, sometime in between that, I'm gonna drive home, eat, edit this video, and then tomorrow, release it, and then have a happy Valentine's Day with my beautiful fiance, who I love so very much, Chris the girl. We're gonna have a nice time tomorrow. We're not gonna film it, we're just gonna enjoy it. Also, make sure you subscribe to Chris the girl on YouTube. I'm always shouting her channel out. She's always shouting me out. We are a YouTube couple that have two different YouTube channels. And I'm loving life with my partner. She's amazing. And every day I wake up and I say, man, how did I get a girl like that? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I love you. I'll see you soon. All right. I'm rambling at the end. Thank you, Universal Studios Florida, for always having us out here. And thank you guys for making it possible yourself. This channel wouldn't be the same without you. All right. That's it. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know that I always say, and I believe in my heart, that there is always family forever. No, no, that's not what I always say. I always say there's always much ahead for you. I, fast and the furious. All right, over and out. Tampa J. Goodbye. And thankfully, I uh, I mentioned to Chris, I sent her a text. I was like, I, I didn't expect all the Mardi Gras tonight. I totally forgot. And she texted me. She reminded me. I was here watching the parade, and I forgot that it was actually Fat Tuesday. So... Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. And thank you, Chris the girl. All right. There's much ahead. Good night. Lou Wasserman. The Walt Disney... Oh, no, I won't say that. The man behind Universal Studios. And the Mardi Gras bee tree is growing currently at the moment. I'm going to keep mine, but this is fun. People littering? Oh, my gosh. Oh. People are throwing the beads on the tree. Oh, someone missed. Watch out, cars. Oh, my lordy. Oh, Mardi Gras bush. White Castle. It's what's for dinner. Bonus features.
I'm gonna grab some White Castles on the way back to Tampa Bay. Florida's only White Castle. I was here on opening day. Didn't mean to rhyme. Okay, it's time to order. For the record, that is the first time, almost two years since that White Castle opened up. That is the first time I've tried to go to that White Castle and I pulled right in and I ordered. Every time I've come since the opening day, which I waited five hours, the opening day, made a video of that if you wanna check that out. I waited five hours for the opening day for a White Castle. That was the quickest in Florida. Now I've been to White Castle many a times um, in other states, but yeah, I just had to document that. I got my White Castles, they smell good, so good. I've been eating these since I was a kid. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't know why I'm whispering. I'm gonna eat it, bye bye.